Hi there, Sagittarius, and welcome back to Star Lord is Tarot. This is your tarot forecast for the week of April the 8th through to the 14th. I went ahead, shuffled cards, laid them all out. Let's see what's going on for Sag. First up, we have the Four of Pentacles reversed, followed then by the Two of Cups in the upright. Next, we have the Knight of Pentacles upright, followed then by um, Major Arcana Empress. And lastly, we have the Queen of Swords in the upright position. Your overall energy is the Four of Swords here in the reverse position. This is my little hoarder card in the upright position. This is where um, we're holding on too tightly. It could be to... Uh, material goods, it could be to old belief systems that no longer serve us. When the card is inverted, this could be Sagittarius this week, you have decided to let go of the old belief systems that you don't believe serve you any longer. So you're just dropping them, you're letting them go. Others of you are having a garage sale and getting rid of all that extra materials. <laughs> um, material things that you have around the house that it's just time to release things and items material items hold energy so sometimes holding on to old um old items you know it's probably not the best thing to clear your energy others of you this is about a financial situation sometimes the four of pentacles in the upright can point to um, savings and debt when it is reversed this could be being released from a debt or sometimes this will happen when say for example um, we put aside so much money every month to pay bills and then all of a sudden we get a consolidation loan so you know we get to pay off things so it could be something like that for others of you maybe some of you have paid off your vehicle or you're paid off your mortgage or paid off loans or something like that hallelujah congratulations if you've done that beautiful energy uh, let us know in the comment section below what are you letting go of here right at the beginning of the week you are holding on tight to someone you have the beautiful two cups here in the upright position this can be a meeting of the minds and the heart and the spirit all rolled into one. This could be meeting somebody new for some of you. That's what uh, is happening here. Others of you, this could be your own uh, partner. This could be your best friend. Maybe spending time with a best friend and really connecting and uh, maybe making plans and having, uh, having that conversation that just makes you feel like, wow, you know, this is amazing. This could be your spouse. Maybe you're making plans to for the way forward it could be like where to move to where to travel to what it is you're doing whatever it is you're doing you're on the same page with them and it feels wonderful these this could be meeting like i said meeting somebody who basically can finish your sentence for you you feel like you're you know one person that has two bodies that sounds strange but <laughs> let us know in the comment section below are you planning on um you know, having a conversation with your special person? Are you meeting somebody new and having that magic moment? Um, are you getting together with a really, really good friend who feels like a soulmate? This is very soulmate, twin flame type of energy. So next card you have is the Knight of Pentacles in the upright position. This is uh, Earth energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Sun, Moon, or Rising. Some of you could have waited a while to get this, um, commitment or this offer because knights usually bring in some kind of offer could be a proposal very serious one but this takes time like the knight of pentacles is not a fly-by-night type of energy this person has taken a long time to deliberate and to figure out if like, this is on the romantic front if they have something to offer you they will make sure that they are in a stable position before they reach out or do something like that but the Knight of Pentacles can also point to an offer. It could be an offer on your home. It could be an offer on your business. It could be an, a job offer. But again, this is something that has been a long time coming. So this is uh, definitely a solid offer, something you can take to the bank for sure. Moving on towards the weekend, we see the beautiful Empress is here in the upright position. This can point to the mother, the mother figure. This uh, can be somebody who's very powerful. She's known for her abundance, can represent pregnancy too. Um, remember, these are just general reads, so just take what makes sense 
to you, but the empress can, she points to someone in a position of power who can aid you and help you. And this is a person who you should reach out to because her main qualities are that of compassion, caring, understanding. That's why she is like the matriarch of the family. So it could be reaching out to your mother or mother figure, uh, maybe getting some kind of assistance from them, or you could be the, uh, the, the empress in this scenario where um, <clears throat> you are the mother figure to other people and perhaps they need your compassion, understanding, or their, your assistance in some way. Oftentimes the empress can offer assistance, so reach out to this person if you really need to speak to somebody, you know, a high level official or something like that, reach out to them because they're in the upright, so they're very likely to aid you or help you in some way. So beautiful energy with the Empress. It could be that you're becoming abundant. You know, maybe somebody's offering to buy your home or your business or something like that. The Four of Pentacles, you're releasing something. So interesting energy. Last card you have is the Queen of Swords in the upright position. This is air energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Sun, Moon, or Rising. Now, this, uh, this is your weekend energy. This could be somebody um, that is separate from you or this could be you embodying the energies of the queen of swords either way it represents a serious conversation that needs to be had the queen of swords it does not mince her word she shoots from the hip she's all in about the uh, the truth the whole truth and nothing but the truth so you could be dealing with a legal matter or a uh, surgical matter or this could be a person in your life who wants some answers the queen of swords is uh, somebody who comes in very very strict they leave emotion out of it they are more mental cerebral and um, they're just after facts at this point she's uh, all about logic and um, and factual information so some of you could be dealing like i said with a legal matter at the end of the week or this could be um somebody in your life could be a friend a family member or a love interest who is just wanting to have some serious convo with you so that's what i have i really hope the reading helped you if it did please feel free to like share and subscribe and don't forget to come back to the channel this sunday at uh, 6 p.m central we are going to be um, discussing the big solar eclipse that's coming in on the 8th. Uh, I have Marie Moore coming on the show, the astrologer, and we're going to be talking about all of this uh, hype and everything that's going on around uh, this solar eclipse. So hopefully you can join us in the live chat. If not, um, then you can always watch the replay. So take care. Um, much love. Thanks so much for joining me. Namaste. Bye-bye for now.